Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be focusing on to know about what is all about domain knowledge. What is all about domain knowledge? Why do we really require a domain knowledge for software engineer, software tester? What are the benefits do we really get if you if you are becoming an expertise in a particular domain area? So I'm going to cover completely in this video. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, then please click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we publish our new videos. First of all, let us understand what is all about domain knowledge. And having a domain knowledge is very much significant and it also very valuable in software industry because if I just know only programming language or if I just know how to debug or how to write a code, then doesn't solve any problem because we should know the domain knowledge of a given industry which we are working. Without that, it is somewhat a very difficult task when we are trying to implement, we are not able to understand the requirement also if you are not well versed in the domain knowledge for example so why why we are saying domain knowledge is very important means let me take you two examples one is pharmaceutical company another one is finance company each of these domains the requirement itself it's a totally different if you're talking about pharmaceutical company where we talk about everything about pharmacy everything about medicines when the softwares which we are developing for pharmaceutical company there our main focus is in terms of legal perspective medical re regulatory reviews and so on there are a lot of emphasis we put in a particular area when we are developing a product for pharmaceutical industry so that is a time when the developers or a tester who doesn't have any idea what is the criteria in order to test or what is the criteria in order to release a product for a particular domain then it is very difficult task to manage that kind of project being a normal tester or a normal developer. Hence, it is always we recommend developers, tester should have a good understanding on a, on a particular domain which they are working on. So the second example, if you are talking about finance companies, so finance, comp finance companies also where we talk about uh, banking sector, where we talk about deposit, withdrawals, everything is about uh, numbers, all of calculations, everything we are talking about numbers, it could be your payments, payment transfers and so on. If you go to any interview, they definitely they ask, do you have any exposure in this particular domain? Apart from asking the basic testing processes, automation, apart from this, they will also give a lot of emphasis to domain expertise. So hence it is always good to learn, good to get good exposure in the domain space. When the software engineer, when the software engineer is having good amount of knowledge on a particular industry, particular domain industry or a particular domain knowledge, then definitely he can convert the recommend into a specific to that industry in a more effective manner. Otherwise, it is a little cumbersome and it would be a very tedious task for him because he is not able to understand or he is not able to visualize what is really required as a developer he needs to be implemented or a tester what he needs to be tested without having a proper domain expertise. It is not really possible to interact with the end users or business users. He should be well versed with the domain knowledge as well. Let end users they find certain issues. So whatever the language which end users talks, if this developer is not able to understand, you can see what kind of fixes these developers can make. Since the domain knowledge is very much important and very much needed, if you do not have that expertise, then we should learn to get that expertise as quickly as possible. With this, I am ending this video. I am hoping you guys got clear idea what is all about a domain knowledge. Why do we really require domain knowledge? If you guys really enjoyed watching this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed to Testing Shala YouTube channel till now, then please click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we 
publish our new videos thanks for watching this video bye for now take care